Well, this Omicron variant infected millions of people all across the country, but perhaps because of that, we're seeing more protection against COVID. News Channel 5's Cole Johnson live from Metro Health Department this morning. Uh, so Cole, what does this mean really for all of us trying to get back to some sense of normalcy? Hey, good morning, Ben. Well, between boosters and infections, one model is saying between that and some other factors, 73% of Americans are immune to Omicron, and that could even jump up to 80% by mid-March. And with this protection, any future spikes likely won't make as big of an impact to our day-to-day -day lives. But let's be clear, this is still dangerous. It is still killing people, and millions are still vulnerable. There also will most likely be future outbreaks, but an official with the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation Model says he is optimistic about if there is a summer surge, cases will go up, but hospitalizations and deaths won't. It's important to mention a lot of different areas will have varying levels of protection. Experts at Johns Hopkins University Bloomberg School of Public Health are saying about three out of four people by the end of the surge will have been infected with Omicron. But another expert there says in some areas it's closer to one in two. That also just points out protection can really vary for each of us. That model ranges it from 63 percent to 81%. In that same vein, while you may be protected, not everyone is afforded that opportunity. So make sure that you're staying safe out there while we still navigate this pandemic. Reporting live at the Health Department, Cole Johnson, News Channel 5.